Okay, so this is how we write a hybridization scheme and draw a sketch of a molecule with the hybridized orbitals. We'll first do this for ammonia. This is number 61 and 62 from the homework 14. First thing you want to do is draw the Lewis structure. I'll do this quickly because you should know how to draw a Lewis structure of a simple molecule by now. And then what we want to do is determine the hybridization step two. Up here, we've got this trick. What we can do is just count the number of bonded atoms and lone pairs, add them together, and that'll give us the number of hybridized orbitals. So for us in this example, there's one lone pair and one, two, three bonds, so four overall hybridized orbitals, which means it's going to be sp3 hybridized. The nitrogen will be sp3 hybridized. So we'll write that here. That's our hybridization scheme. And then we want to draw the molecule with the overlapping hybridized orbitals. So first we'll draw the hybridized orbitals around the central atom. For nitrogen, we said that's sp3, which, which obtains a tetrahedral geometry. So we'll draw the four sp3 hybridized orbitals. That's one going up in the plane of the screen. Here's one coming out of the plane. Here's another one in the plane of the screen. And here is one going away. All right, now we're going to draw the bonding orbitals. So for hydrogen, let's see, first we want to draw in our lone pair, that's non-bonding, and then we'll draw in our unpaired electron in each bonding orbital, and then hydrogen will come in and form bonds with the unpaired electron to spin pair the electron in each hybridized orbital like this, and that's how we draw our hybridized orbitals on the ammonia molecule. We're going to label the pi and sigma bonds now. These are all head-to-head -head overlap, so this is all sigma bonding. So there are three sigma bonds in ammonia, and that's all we have to do.